you see this mm-hmm. slowly but surely just coming right on up coming right on up what is poppin beautiful people it is me terrell and welcome back to terrell tries i have susan here joining me today thank you thank you you're welcome and we're gonna be talking about chemical pills so i recently just got my first chemical pill done and we all know like with chemical pills for deeper skin tones it can be a little risky that's scary but luckily i went to the right place to get the right chemical pill for my particular skin tone so let's get into it you guys, I am about to get a chemical peel done today. Oh my goodness, I'm about to get the VI peel and my girl Erica back here is going to be doing it for me today. And I'm super excited because I'm ready to see brand new baby looking skin. And it's time to get some of these dark spots to go away, okay? So stay tuned. Wait, Terrell, tell me what chemical peel you went and had done. So the chemical peel that I went and got done was the Precision Plus peel at the VI Institute. Oh. Yes, yes. So it was it. a VI peel. Yeah, VI peel, but it was their Precision Plus peel. Okay. So this particular peel more so targeted hyperpigmentation, acne spots, sunspots, fine lines and wrinkles, and actual texture too as well. Mm. This one was not so invasive. It was more of a pain-free peel. All right, so about the VI peel, what's in it, you have TCA, you have phenol, you have salicylic acid, you have retinoic acid, you have a blend of minerals too as well. Oh, and it has vitamin C actually, let me not forget that. Oh, and also something that's really cool about the actual peel too, that it has pain numbing ingredients inside of there. So as the peel is being applied, you're still being getting that counteraction of not having type of ir any irritation happening to your skin while you're doing it. Take me through your process. Let me take you through the process, darling. So the process was actually really easy. Personally, it only took like 30 minutes, but what they do first, they have this device, mm. this setup. They take three different pictures of you. So like you have like your frontal and then you have your two sides of what they do. And so basically it determines on like the age of your skin, things that you need to work on, stuff of that nature. We took those pictures, we looked at my skin and we looked like what we can improve on. And then so after that, laid down into the chair, she cleansed my skin with their purifying gentle cleanser. Okay. And then she pat dried. And then after that, we got in with the VI plus peel. When she did the six pass, it's like even after the six pass, she was like, you're not feeling anything? I was like, no. I was like, was I supposed to feel something? Was I supposed to feel like uncomfortable? She was like, no, I, I just thought something, I, she was like, I thought you would actually be she feeling She wanted it. to hear you cry. Right, she <laughs> wanted to be like, it's burning, it's burning. So let it sit for four hours. Okay. When I got home, she gave me like the stuff that I needed to have. So she gave me the sash, little packets of the cleanser. I got post towelette treatment and then also like the VI plus towelette treatment. I got the repair treatment cream, which is helping with anti-itch, just in case you just want to itch your face off. <laughs> and then we had the SPF 50, which was like, you know, you need to apply that every day, every two hours. What's poppin'? It is the next day, actually. I did not make it. I almost made it, but my body was like, gotta go night night. Slightly feel my skin about to get tight. So I know that this baby is about to start giving me that shedding material that I am looking for. <laughs> I'm gonna rinse this off and we're gonna get to the next step, all right? All right, beautiful people. So now that my face is washed, I pat dried, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Precision Plus towelette right here that they gave me. This is for a post peel. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this onto all the areas of my face where they did the peel at. Just really making sure I'm covering everything. A little bit swipe under the eye area. But my skin feels good thus far. It does not feel super crazy or tight. But yeah, I'm gonna leave this on for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the post peel towel that after that. And then I'm gonna apply my creams and such. All right, so 30 minutes is up and now we're gonna do the V peel post peel towel lit, all right? So we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the Precision Plus peel and wipe it all around the face, okay? So here we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh, feels so good. Mm-hmm. And we're good, I'm gonna just let this sit for a little bit and then we're gonna get into the rest of the steps, all right? Be back. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the post-treatment repair cream. So this is the anti-itch cream right here. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just press that into my skin like so. All righty. 
now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the SPF Daily UV Defense Broad Spectrum SPF. Gives me that lotion vibe. Let's see what she was giving. You gotta hit that neck. But yeah, so these are my steps that I need to take in the morning time. Well, once I'm done with the peel pads, I have like one more round that I have to do. And I actually will come back and do that the night, the tonight when I go to bed. I will not fall asleep on y'all on that one. And then we'll do our last round of little post toilet peel pads. We'll be done and then we'll be seeing what the face is going to be giving in the next few days. All right, you guys, so I have started cleansing my face, getting it nice and cleansed before we head off to bed and also before we apply the post toilet treatments, darling. So I pat dried my skin down and we are going to use the Precision Plus post toilet treatment, post peel, toilet, sorry. <laughs> All right, beautiful people, we are back and it's time to apply the post peel treatment. <laughs> and now I'm going to go ahead and put on the post treatment repair cream and we about to head to bed. Make sure we're not itching through the night. All righty folks, so it is time for bed. See you in the morning. Good morning, y'all. It is day two. I'm doing good so far. This right here, I feel like it's starting to, ooh, let me not, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Anyways, um, as you can see, it's gonna start peeling right here and they said it normally like works from the mouth first and then like pulls out. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face, put my post treatment cream on and put my SPF on and I gotta go outside. So be right back. After washing my face, I'm starting to see like the skin is starting to like, you know, lift up around here and around here. Like, oh. All right, y'all. It's time for me to wash my face. It's starting to feel a little itchy. Get this SPF and this product off. That skin is feeling. It is really like itchy, like right in here. Like, okay, y'all. So I am done washing my face. And now that I did that, like, all this started kicking up right here, all around there, back here. Oh, wow, I wonder what in the, I'm gonna look like in the morning time, like starting to look all like crazy right in this area. Now I'm gonna apply my anti-itch cream. Don't wanna be itching, bang, bang. This is crazy. This is like everything I've dreamt of. Ooh, look at that. All right, beautiful people. So we are checking in and I am peeling like a damn snake, lizard, reptile, whatever you want to call it. But honestly, like I'm loving it so far. This is just like one layer. So I'm really waiting for the other layers to like kick up. But so far, so good. It's fine. It's not irritating my skin. It was itching back here, but it doesn't really itch anymore. But I'm starting to kind of like purge right here. And, oh, well, this guy is kind of gone now, but I was purging right there. And yeah, and this guy's actually going away on the side. So making progress, make progress. And I need to wash my face, seriously. I look a little ashy. All right, beautiful people. So I am ready to go to dinner and this is what I'm giving right now. You know, make sure my face is covered, but also like this is my skin now after I've washed my face. You can see a little some some peeling back there and applying the actual product, the post um, treatment cream and also the SPF. And I mean, it's not too bad. It's really not too shabby. Yes, I do have an acne patch on right now because I just can't like, it, it needs to get out of my face and I can't do it right now. All right, beautiful people. So this is day six of my peel, my chemical peel that I got. And this is what it's giving right now since I've woken up. I washed my face really thoroughly last night. That honestly, like just gently, not like really aggressively, but it just like skin was just like sloughing off just like very easily. So I was like, okay, cool. So now I'm actually gonna go in, wash my face again, because it's morning time and we are going to get our date started, all right? All right, so tell us if you saw a big difference. My results actually, I was very happy with because- I mean, I can see your skin right now and you look very even. Yes. Very smooth. Yes. Pores look like they're snatched. They are snatched, even though they're still there. It's okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> I know, There's pores will so never. Much. And you only did it once, right? I only did it once, and okay. I was very surprised on the actual result of just doing it one time. Just overall, I did feel like I got more of a plumpness feel to it with the collagen production. So I was just like, 
Okay, it feels a little more taut up here. Like, you know, it's, it's giving me some good things. And also I felt like it did smooth out some fine lines and lifted up some hyperpigmentation. What does something like this cost? This I ranges from about, I think four to 500. I feel like four or 500 is also very normal for Los Angeles, but mm -hmm. if you go outside of Los Angeles, you might find it for a little bit of a better price. Definitely. But I think who you go to really matters. It really, does. really matters. So don't look for the best price look for the best reviews. I have a whole episode of the SAS with my friend Sharzad where we went and got the Perfect Derma Peel, which is a whole different situation. I don't personally recommend it, but I know people love that peel too, which is why I think it's also very personalized. Like okay. what it is that you're gonna get done, it's very specific to you. Yes. So do you give this a thumbs up? Yes. Two thumbs up. I like it. Yes, indeed. I like it. Yeah. All right, beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning into this lovely video with me and Susan. If you happen to like this video, let us know down in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up and let us know if you happen to try a chemical peel and what your experience was about. Or maybe you're looking into getting one. Yep. You never let us know. know. Yes, let us know. So you can find me at Terrell Britton on Instagram. And where can they find you at, Susan? At Susan Yara. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye. Bye.